Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSWER student community and I have a question about how to create this geometry of uh, convergent divergent nozzles, six of them inside this cylindrical object. So I'm going to draw them in space plane by sketching and I'm going to sketch on the XY plane and look straight down on that. And uh, because this is a small object, uh, the one millimeter spacing of the grid will be a little bit limiting so I'll go file space claim options units and pull it down and instead of one millimeter I'm going to go for a quarter millimeter grid spacing so now each of those is a quarter millimeter um, which will be good to get the small details correct I'm going to start with a construction line in this sketch I'm going to go from the origin out I might go out 50 millimeters and uh, an angle of 165 sounds just fine. So we want lines and those lines are going to come from uh, aligned with that uh, construction line. And when I touch on that, I get uh, I'm able to draw out it at a 90 degree angle. So if I take the first one at 2.5, that'll be a five millimeter radius there. And then um, this is a piece of the nozzle that's uh, parallel and now it's converging and I could type in the angle of convergence or the diameter um, but I'm just going to draw it by eye and now I'm going to come out to uh, the, con the converging section and I'll hit the escape key because I want to draw the next line from here outward at the 90 degree angle um, Actually, yeah, and then I'll use my corner, the escape, use my corner trim tool to uh, trim this up, trim this up to a uh, there it goes. One more line, and uh, I can spin that around the axis hit escape twice. We'll do the pull operation. We want to pull this using this axis and do a full pull. And there we have it. We can now make uh, six copies of this, five copies really, using the move tool. Three clicks on the... Um, I think it helps to do that with Get a slightly different result depending on your angle of view it looks like. I'm going to drop that on there and then I'm going to use this angle but uh, if I undo and hold the control key down while I'm dragging I get a copy. The first copy I want is 60 degrees away and then I want to hit the control key and get another copy 120 degrees away and then I want to pick all three and drop the origin over there. Um, the origin didn't go, but the alignment went. Um, that's not correct, so let me do the move one more time. I want to move these. I'm going to drop that on there. Now I'm going to um, drag this with the control key. 180 degrees and we're done. So there is a set of solids to subtract and I want the uh, they're all a bit long so I should shorten them up or just draw back here where there'll be some uh, there'll be no overlap. So I have to draw back here at this point or uh, shorten them up. I had real dimensions I uh, probably wouldn't have drawn it like this but let's go forward and sketch on the XY let's actually go back to select and 3d mode I'm going to uh, make a new component so the component is going to be called the lance that's the solid object these solids are for subtracting from the lance 
And so now in the lance, which is active, I'll make a sketch and I'll sketch on the XY plane. Oops. Actually, it doesn't really matter which plane I sketch on, but I'll, I'll try that one more time. I'll sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to look straight down at it and zoom in a little more. And I want, definitely want to sketch behind this line of intersection. So I'll start with the line tool and uh, I'll go yeah, I'll go here, if I escape, I'll come back even more, I'll go here, go up a little bit, actually up one millimeter, and then out at some angle. Now I can zoom out, come up some length, whatever it is, and then up above here, over to here, coming down at some angle and then coming down to the center line and we'll draw our closing box. So that is a if we zoom, Z for zoom, we can now pull that closed boundary. We want to rotate around this axis a full pull rotate this full pull there we have it and now we should uh, be good to subtract so we want to use the combine tool so let's um, pick combine we want to combine this and the cutter objects are all of these let's see if we can select them with the box So uh, now we want to uh, tell it to remove all of the, it cut them but it left the solid inside so we pick this and there we go. I think that is exactly what we wanted. If we turn off that and turn this on, we're done. We are uh, successfully made a convergent divergent nozzle and you can see it in cross-section using this button here. So just square that up. There is your convergent-divergent nozzle. Thanks for watching.